What is going on guys, today we are looking at Nandez, the Uruguayan centre mid for Calgary. He is a 90 rated CM and he is the first first or second Path to Glory 2 that we packed. I want to say second out of the guaranteed, or is it? No, it wasn't the guaranteed. This was just genuinely a pack. This was the 87 triple pack, actually. He's a three-star, three-star. He's coming in at about 38 to 35,000 coins, so nothing at all. I personally will have to have a look at Uruguay as we go into the overall, because I personally don't know how they've done. But obviously, if he's dropped down that many coins, it means that it's not inflated, so he more than likely isn't getting the upgrade, which... We can see, we can have a look at 5'8", high, high with a 3-star, free 3-star. Free we've got the outside of the foot trait. Um, we've only got a 77 version of him, so he's gone up a plus 13 without any informs or anything like that. So, at least they are giving you that. And let's have a look at the stats then. So, we've gone with the shadow. That's what's suggested on footbin. It gives you 99 pace, 95 defending. Turn him into a 95 DM, 92 CM, or 91 cam. So, pretty high ratings there. So, acceleration's decent with the sprint speed obviously the plus 10 when you get player chemistry 10 um finishing the shooting isn't awful uh passing we've got good short long is above average vision's nice curve not so much great agility balance re and reactions and composure in fact that whole dribbling stat looks pretty class and then the defending like i say goes up to what 95 head and accuracy being his lowest point but being 5 8 i wasn't expecting him to challenge in the air much Physicals, again, another very strong stat from this guy. Obviously, he doesn't get the upgrade with Shadow. So if he did have that little bit more pace, we may have been able to kind of warrant an anchor rather than a Shadow. So that's pretty interesting anyway. And you wouldn't get anything from the aggression. It'd mainly be the strength and jumping that does maintain that one. If you did whack an anchor, you'd get 94 pace, 94 defending, and 98 physical. Pretty much gives you the same setup. But I think Shadow is the way to go. So let's jump into Nandez and see what he's all about Nandez with the interception I'm expecting the dribbling to be honest to be very much like McGregor yesterday in terms of how agile he is does seem very very quick on that turn that's a lovely little trait from him and it's always nice to kind of pull them fouls because you get them attackers that really do that basically they'll push and they'll attack instantly and you can literally just turn in a second and just walk around him obviously or you just walk through him if your dribbling is absolutely awful but so far so good with him he does seem like i say very quick on the ball i'm just trying to feel him out really try and figure out what he's good at what he's not good interception again it's what i do like about players like this the interception side of stuff is absolutely wonderful when it comes to that kind of like just in that that proper midfield side of it i really want to see what his shooting's all about obviously only on the 85, nearly going for that tackle again. This guy is just all about that slide tackle already. Nandez taking the ball away. This guy doesn't seem to know how to defend too well. That was a poor pass from myself. Nandez does win it back. Find it late. Unfortunately, Hataboa can't come in there. Did find that ball, though. That was uh, going to be nice if he didn't do that little roulette, which obviously is my fault. Oh, that's a stunning ball from Nandez. Maradona's going to see it through. Oh, I thought he'd bring the keeper out, to be honest with you. Nandez again. Sees in a bit of Mara. He's going to make that run forward, but we just cannot get it back to him. Nandez winning it back in a good position. Got him all over the shop there. Very, very good at winning the ball back. I've noticed that from Nandez already in the first literally 30 minutes. Really, really uh, confident in getting that ball back with him, Nandez. Love it. It's a shame he doesn't have that four-star, four-star. As honestly, he would be a next-level centre mid with a four-star, four-star. It's unfortunate that it is free-free. Nandez taking the ball away. He's got a decent amount of acceleration on him. Obviously, I think it's more of his sprint speed that's really kind of promising. And we can kind of see him just peeling away nicely. Go for this outside of the foot. Not really testing anybody with that one. We do get it back to him. Hits it again. Let's get a bit of R9. Let's show how it works. A little bit of a roulette in there. Um, it's not a great shot either, to be honest. Nandez again. Weren't even looking. And he's managed to win the ball back. Nandez winning it back. R9's not able to pull it back. Oh, Nandez just picks his spot and takes it. Lovely ball from Nandez into Fraser. 
picks him back, finds Nandez for again, and it's jumped over. Hat-trick for Nandez in his first match. Nandez pushing it inside. Fakes. Ah, Virgil's going to be too big for him to go around. Picks it up again. Sets in our nine, who's going to get the shot, and that's going to be an easy goal. I think Nandez is best described as literally the... He's just an absolute pest in that midfield. Back into Nandez is going to see a bit of our nine, who's not going to be able to put him in again this time. Wins it back after losing it. And again, it's just constant ping pong here at the moment. Nandez peeking through. And Fraser's going to finish it off quite well. Very agile, very quick in and around the midfield. Yes, he doesn't pose a threat like massively going forward in terms of his shooting. Obviously, 85 is not bad and the shot power and position is not awful. But I felt like the, the shot power definitely was oversold. Doesn't feel that quite nice taking the shot. Obviously, the first match when he gets against someone who really didn't defend very well. So he, that's the reason why he's managing to get some goals. We went against the next guy and he was a little bit better. Obviously, there was two of them, so it does make it harder to get a midfielder breakthrough unless they're awful as well. But again, he's managing to break through in terms of interceptions and playing the ball. But in terms of like completely taking control of that attack, he's not going to do that. He's more of a pest in that midfield. Someone who's taking the ball away from players, intercepting, tackling. And he did that absolutely wonderfully. And I think that comes from, obviously, his defending being so high with that shadow. With, obviously, his price, I think that is kind of like just a generic step that you can go get him done quite easily for 30k. It's nothing in terms of price. Obviously, he got an 84. I think that's... What was that? That was a... I don't even remember what they're called anymore. Shapeshifter. I knew it was something like that. He was obviously the lowest there. And unfortunately is one of the lowest in Team 2 of the Path to Glory. But this time he is 90 rated. So nothing to really kind of shake your head at. Obviously as well he is only 25. So he's only been going since FIFA 18. Which really isn't that bad to go from FIFA 18 to 21. And finally have yourself a 91 rated card. And he's had a big upgrade. Plus 10, 10 overalls plus on every single stat which is always nice and then as you can see the, the kind of the finished touches with that shadow is perfect for that kind of defensive mid roll overall I thought he was a nice player he's probably it's sitting around average in terms of midfield there is still a lot better but again there is still a lot worse so overall for me I'm going to give him an 8.6 I don't think he deserves anything lower um, and I think higher you're going to be needing you need to ask some more the Uruguayan squad definitely coming up trumps now. We've obviously got Suarez, Valverde, Rossi, Jimenez the other day. Um, obviously, there's multiple versions of Suarez. Cavani's SBC. You have Coates. Um, uh, I can't pronounce that name. And I think Torreya has not really had too many. And Godin. So there really isn't that bad of a team, to be honest. You're really starting to find a nice little special team going on there. So there is that if you wanted to do that. But if you did enjoy this video... Make sure you smash that like button. And if you want to like and subscribe, I'll see you for the next one. Peace.